maybe, just maybe, Stellantis isn't the group of D-bags, sea-goggling, balls jiggling off the chin company that I thought they were. Maybe they just okie doke y'all and said that there would be no more Hemis because they put a star and asterisk. If you look, I just noticed this, that the last call would be the last of the gasoline Hemis. Why did they specifically say gasoline? Guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and to talk about the sponsors here at the channel, Morgan & Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you will find none larger than Morgan & Morgan, handling over 20 million phone calls in 2023 alone. When they put that stuff on the billboard, if you're driving anywhere around America, I'm sure you've seen them, size matters. It's funny, right? It's a cool pun but they mean it. They're the largest in the world for a reason, and they make it super simple to get started with one of these smartphones in eight clicks or less. You can go to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. So guys, report just came out. This article, I'm going to post it right here, just came out. And... I had saw this, it didn't just came, it's been about a week, right? So I saw this and I was like, haha, that's cool. Like, I knew that Honda and some other companies were working on hydrogen engines, right? But they were like four-cylinder hydrogen engines. And then we come to find out, and I thought maybe it was like a Nissan Renault thing, not um, a Stellantis thing. But then a buddy of mine, and for you guys that don't know, uh, for a period, a little bit over a year during the development of the Banshee, um, I worked at Stellantis. So what I found interesting is my buddies, a couple of my buddies that are still at the company. Um, yeah, one of the one of the rare Americans that haven't been fired yet by email. More, on, I'm going to do a video on that soon. Just stay tuned for that. But um, one of the things I found very interesting was, you know, he said... He said, I can't tell you for sure that the, the Hemi is coming back. Just that a V8, not a 6, an 8, a V8 hydrogen engine is in development right now. Not Dodge. Wasn't Dodge that started it. It's a Stellantis thing. But why would Stellantis be looking at building a V? Maybe for their supercars? I know they have a couple of different supercars that they've been putting out there with Peugeot, but um, it would be interesting to see if those V8 engines, and I find it very interesting on the last call that they said it would be the last gasoline Hemi engine. Wouldn't it be insane if Dodge decided to build a V8 hydrogen engine? These new engines that they're building out of Japan or that they're testing right now, there, you don't need a hydrogen fuel cell. You don't have to go to a place that... And this is why I think the oil industry wants to kill this so bad. And it's happened in the past. You know, people just got disappeared over shit like this. And I'm not on my tinfoil Alex Jones shit. I'm speaking facts. It, you know, it's a, a trillion dollar industry. And you're trying to threaten it. It's going to make you disappear. It's facts. Well, I think we're at a point now where... They understand that with everything that's going on, it's going to happen one way or another. And of course, since I'm shooting this video, FedEx is going to show up to deliver me car parts. But, I digress. This new hydrogen engine allows you to literally fill a tank with water. Tap water. Distilled water. And it converts it to hydrogen which it then burns and only emits water vapor out the exhaust. Wow. Now, cynical me is thinking when these engines come out, the environmentalists are going to go, these cars are making the humidity go up. 
these cars are making it where I sweat outside. Because these environmental fucks are never going to be happy. It's never. Never going to be happy. So, we shall see. I feel like it's an interesting report. I thought it was something that I should bring to your attention to see what you guys think. I know some of you guys that are subscribed to my channel have high, 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 high sources at Dodge. And it would be interesting to see if you broach that subject with them, what they say. Because I find it very interesting for Stellantis to be in on a program or developing a V8 of all engines. A V8 of all engines to operate on hydrogen. Now, is this going to go in a car anytime soon? Even if these engines are a thing, I wouldn't expect to see these in vehicles until 2029, maybe 2030, if they can get through all the hurdles and hoops and, you know, the whole fact of hopefully the car doesn't blow up and destroy a city block type of situation. Um, so, we'll have to see. But what do you guys think? Do you think it was very interesting that they put last gasoline Hemi in their notes? Because I do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.